Hey YouTubers, today we're painting some kitchen cabinet doors and they were oak finished and we've already gone ahead and sanded them out and put some primer on. So now we're ready for a finished coat. So let's get right into it. This is the system that we're using. The Wooster Pelican and Produce system. So the Pelican is the container which uh, has a wide mouth and also a magnet for holding the brush. There's a magnet built into the system here. There's a handle to lift it up and down. And then the produce part is the handle itself and the special rollers that fit the handle. So I guess it's kind of hard to give you a sense of how it feels but it goes a lot quicker and smoother than a regular whiz handle roller does. So I'll demonstrate how we apply the paint on a panel and maybe you can get a feel for how easy it looks. Before we get into a paint demonstration I just wanted to show you the panels here that we're working with. You can see that they've been primed so there isn't the coverage is a bit patchy. That's okay as long as the surface is sealed it's got a prime coat for the finish coat to adhere to. But I just wanted to zoom in on areas like this in these corners on these inside corners it's a bit shy of paint in there in the corner there you see and also on the profile on the detail it can be a bit light in spots and also on the outside edge you can see little bits of paint missing it's not quite filled in so we're going to be careful right here so we're going to be careful to catch those with paint because that's going to be critical to our finished look. So we're just going to take our produce handle and our produce roller load it up, not too much, don't want to be dripping all over the place then first thing we want to do is get into that inside corner we have a curved detail there so we want to follow that around Make sure that the paint is getting right into the right into the edges and not missing like the primer was. I think the primer was applied with a regular whiz roller and it looked like it was a fairly uh, thin product, so it didn't quite cover the way it could. But can you see how freely that roller is moving? It's just like a don't worry about that noise in the background, that's some Muskoka thunder. See how freely that's moving? It's just moving like a, a regular nine and a half inch roller. You'll find that when you've used a, a regular whiz roller, that this is uh, really moving quite freely by comparison. So then you want to fill up the flats. Remember this is just the one load of paint so far and then we want to make sure that we get that outside detail that we highlighted. Then, if I can demonstrate this in the camera shot, we just pick it up and then we just, now that the roller has basically been unloaded if you will or the paint has been transferred onto the piece then we can go around get our outside edges that wasn't really primed very well that edge but uh, we'll have to give this two coats anyway so and then hopefully it's the top edge Things that you discover when you come into a job halfway through. Anyway, you do that, you put your roller down, and then you just take your finger or a wet rag, which we should have handy, but I don't at the moment, and then just wipe that bottom edge so you don't get a hangover, and you're done. 
hope you enjoyed that uh, demonstration of how to paint your uh, cupboard doors with the Produce uh, Whiz Roller system. And if you can afford to buy all the pieces, and if you're uh, uh, doing projects of this nature, trying to cover small pieces, but perhaps uh, many of them, then it might be worth the investment. And once you've used one, you probably will never go back to the other, but uh, that's up to you to find out. So if you have any questions or comments on this video, or if you have any suggestions for other demonstrations, I'd be glad to uh, try to do them for you. By all means, like the videos and subscribe. Until next time, it's been Craig, the Muskoka Painter.